Do not mistake this outing for a festival, considering the excitement and entertainment that rents the air here. These are ABCA supporters in Imo State, all clad in colorful attires, a clear indication that this is a political event of note. Here comes the governorship candidate of the party, Captain Imano Iyanacho, majestically walking into the arena and setting off the perfect mood to kick off his governorship campaign. Women and youth alike receive their man, like subjects their king, and he does a good job of acknowledging their chairs. And like a winner at the end of a competition, Captain Ihiana Cho's hands are lifted high, indicating that he is the chosen man for the job. He's also presented to the party in full readiness to take over power in the state in the forthcoming elections. The APCA governorship candidate believes that APCA will sweep most of the votes cast at the February polls and promises that if eventually elected governor, industrialization and youth unemployment will be addressed squarely. Youths are there. Youths go to school. Youths have paper qualification, but they never get a job. If you read our, our newspapers or listen to the news, in Imo State the talk is, is it free education or is it not free education? My own talk is, what use is free education, whether it's free or not, if it doesn't lead to a job? The reason why people don't get a job is, there's no relationship between Henry Maria Gago, what they study in school, and what the economy requires. Nobody has made a comprehensive plan that links curriculum, education, uh, manpower development policy with an industrialization policy. That is what we would be doing. The event witnessed several endorsements by different groups and was celebrated with various cultural performances and dances. The campaign train is expected to move to Olu Senatorial District and make a final stop in Oweri Senatorial District before the end of the week.